hormones is a big thing, I think, for yeah. so many. How do you monitor those in a patient when levels can change so much over time, even you know, week to week versus right. year to year? Well, I think that's where uh, looking at uh, blood serum uh, is a great way of testing hormones, but then also looking at saliva, those two things can be great. You can look at uh, urine metabolites as well. But I think with hormones, the biggest thing that, uh, that we look at is don't just say, well, you've got a, a hormonal deficiency and let me throw a hormone at it. Let's actually get your body producing those hormones on their own. And what we find more often than not is the reason why people have hormonal dysregulation is because they've had some type of traumatic brain injury or they've had chronic stress because all the hormonal systems, the hypothalamus is right in your brain. So is your pituitary. And so when inflammation builds up around those systems, it, it backs up all the communication networks for the hormonal systems in your body. So one of the things we look at with hormones is get the brain fixed, get the gut fixed, and then the hormones will fix themselves instead of let's get you on a pellet or let's do some bioidentical prescriptions. That's there if necessary, but in so many cases, it's just not necessary. When you talk about some of those fixes with hormones, how does that apply when people age, when hormones naturally seem to change for both men and women? Yeah, and that's a big problem. And, and sometimes we can correct that, sometimes we can't. But that's where, like with women, the ovaries shut down, right? And then they stop producing a lot of the sex hormones that make them feel alive and they sleep better when they have proper levels of progesterone and estrogen. But if you have the ovaries shut down, what backs up the ovaries are your adrenal glands. And so if your adrenal glands are very healthy and robust, then the adrenals can make up for the lost production. So really we look in the, in the body and we say, yeah, maybe adding some hormones here and there is necessary based on your age, but actually in more times than not, there's natural substances that we can use to build those up. You know, maca is something that we use on a regular basis, and maca can be really good at balancing that out. We love cordyceps, we love astragalus. You know, there's, there are some natural therapies that, that are out there. Mm -hmm.